Welcome to another edition of Brain Maths. On this edition, we want to look at the multiplication of numbers in the number base system. If you have not subscribed to this page, quickly click on subscription and don't forget to like after and then share for as many people as possible. In this video, we want to look at how to multiply numbers in different bases. Let's start from our standard base, which is num base number two. If we are given one, one, one in base two to be multiplied by one, one also in base two, the multiplication will give us one, 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 as usual in base two. So let's multiply out. One times one is one. One times one, one. One times one, another one. One times one again will give us one. One times one, one. And one times one will give us one. We need to add these numbers together in base two. One plus zero will give us one. One plus one is two. Don't forget how many two are we going to get in two. That is one. The remainder is zero. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 will give us 3. How many 2 can we get in 3? 1. Remainder 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. How many 2 can we get in 2? 1. Remainder 0. And the last one will be 1 plus 0, which is 1. All in base 2. Also, if you are given 1, 0, 0, 1, in base 2 to be multiplied by 1, 1, 1, all in base 2. So we have 1, 0, 0, 1 times 1, 1, 1, all in base 2. So to multiply this out, we have 1 times 1, 1, 1 times 0, 0, 1 times 0, 0, 1 times 1, 1. Again, 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. And the last line will be 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. So now we add everything together. 1 plus 0 will give us 1. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. And 1 plus 0, 1. All in base 2. What if we are now given a question in another base? Let's take, for instance, we have 2, 3, 2 in base 4. So we multiply it by 2, 3, also in base 4. We need to pay attention here because we will be exercising some things that we don't want to miss. Multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. But don't forget, we are working in base 4. So we cannot write anything exceeding or going above 4. So 3 times 2 will give us 6. We'll say how many 4 can we get in 6? That is what we are going to note somewhere. Remainder what? 2. We will be writing down the remainder in this case. Because we cannot write any number that is above the base at which we are working. 3 times 3 will give us 9. Plus this 1, that gives 10. How many 4 can we get in 10? That gives us 2. Remainder 2. So, these two, we are going to keep it until the next one. 3 times 2 again is 6. Plus these two, that gives 8. How many 4 can we get in 8? That is 2. Remainder, 0. Then the last two, the last one, since there is no number to be multiplied again, we write down the remaining 2. If you look at this number, you will see that none of them is above 4. So, you need to take note of that. Then going to the second multiplication, 
which is to multiply 2 by everything at the top. So we have 2 times 2, 4. How many 4 can we get in 4? That is 1, remainder 0. 2 times 3, 6. Plus this 1, that gives 7. How many 4 can we write, get in 7? That is 1, remainder 3. 2 times 2, 4. Plus this 1, 5. How many 4 can we get in 5? That is 1, remainder 1. So this, two, uh, this 1, we will write it down as the last number. So now, we are going to add all the numbers together. So we have 2 plus 0, 2. 2 plus 0, 2. 0 plus 3, 3. 2 plus 1, 3. And 1 plus 0, 1. All in this 4. Also, if we are given another multiplication, let's say in this case we are multiplying numbers in base 6. Let's take 5, 3, 2 in base 6, multiply by 3, 1, 1 also in base 6. So we have 5, 3, 2 in 6, and 3, 1, 1. in base 6. So this leads us to the multiplication we'll be seeing now. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3, 3. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 2, 2. 1 times 3, 3. 1 times 5, 5. You'll see that I did not do any special division because all the numbers I have written has not passed 5. Here we have 3 times 2. That is 6. We cannot write 6. We say how many 6 can we get in 6? That is 1. Remainder 0. So we have remainder of 0 here. 3 times 3, 9. Plus this 1. That gives 10. How many 6 can we get in 10? 1. Remainder 4. So we have a remainder of 1 now. 3 times 5, 15. Plus 1. That gives 16. How many 6 can we get in 16? That is 2. Remainder 4. So this 2 that is left, since there is no number to be multiplied again, we write it down as the last number. Then we add all these numbers together in base 6. Now in this addition, note that no answer will still exceed this 6 we have written here. So 2 plus 0, 2. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. Since this is more than the base, so we say how many 6 can we get in 8? That is 1. Remainder 2. 1 plus 5, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. How many 6 can we get in 10? 1. Remainder 4. 1 plus 4, 5. It's not up to 6, so we write it down. And the last number here is 2. So we have... 254252 five, two, five, two, all in base 6. This is how to multiply any number given to you in any base. You multiply considering the fact that no answer should be above the given base that you are working. I want you all to look at these two questions on the board. Try to solve the questions on your own. Don't copy anybody. Write out your answers following what we have done in the class. Then write your answers in the comment section. Don't forget, if you are just joining us on this channel, like this channel by subscribing to the page and also turn on your notifications so that you'll be among the first to be notified when a new video is released. Until I come your way next time, have a blessed day. Thank you.